And what struck me and what I carried from this really were two things. His Holiness's selfless devotion to God and selfless service to humanity. So today I'm totally inspired by the work Swami has done. I wish I had met Swami before 2020. My work would have been easier. In India, I've seen all the disasters that have taken place over the years, how the Swami has moved in with all his disciples and volunteers to make sure that nobody suffers. Now, volunteerism is not something that you have to do. It's not something that's being forced upon you to do. I think it's something that you want to do. And I think the power of children, I see small children with the right sanskar, Aprikana values, we're getting the right values in all our children. That's just amazing. The whole world needs this. And this is spirituality in action, compassion in action. This is something that we need also in Kenya. This is also something that we need in East Africa and also something that we need across Africa. And I think this is important to really portray this. I'm looking at these children and seeing them 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 years from now. And I think this movement can become far bigger than it is. So amazingly, you've displayed what it is here. Um, so far as I think it's a good thing that 100 years celebration, but I think Pramukh Swami still lives on. His legacy lives on. So I think that's something that's very, very interesting. The whole universe to him was everything he lived for. And so as I was going there, it is about education. It is the life of a human being, the epitome of humanity, love, uh, righteousness, uh, humility. And I think this is what any person ought to be living. I wish that the world could be like that. हम लोगों ने यहाँ स्वामी जी का शताब्दी समारोह देखा और इतना अच्छा हमें महसूस हुआ ऐसे लग रहा था कि हम उनके उनके चरणों का जो हमें ये मिला है हम आपको एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर सकते हैं। Actually celebrating the life of an icon, human as he was, and he was a very humble and selfless man. I like the fact that he was very compassionate about people. He loved people very much. And he loved his God. It's a very, very interesting festival because uh, it has brought together very, very many people and the general society. The thing that inspired me is the way that he never gave, gave up. Even when he came to Africa and since he was sent away to India, he never gave up on doing his humanity and that one has inspired me a lot. That's my good luck. To, you see, to come in contact with a good person who gives you positive vibration, it lifts me up. My inspirational spiritual leader who has been praying for me, guiding me and advising me. I want to thank you most sincerely for the job well done. And I feel doing this way, this is the sign of humility that, that we have been taught by uh, Pramukh Swami Maharaj. And that's, that's the way to go. I'm truly inspired. And uh, I must say that he's a wonderful man. He's done a lot, which I never knew. And uh, if I compare him with other people, I think he stands at the highest level where humanity stands at this point. The same posture, whether he was meeting the president or the man in the street, the beggar in the street, he was very humble. And honestly, I have learned so many different things. First, just looking at the detail that they have put, you know, when you look at the sculptures, when you look at all the different things that they've been able to design at this particular place, I am fully, fully impressed. Then, wow, I went into that exhibition tent and truly I was inspired by looking at the life of someone who was a saint and how he decided to live his life, how he decided to just, you know, not think about every single thing that we look at, you know, possession, money, cars, and he was just like, you know what, I'm going to devote my life to visit people walking across many different, you know, villages, 
talking to many different people. He sat with presidents, he sat with poor people, but you will never ever see a difference. So I think for me, that's my biggest take home message. I should say, I'm thanking you at this moment because unless you see it and you hear it, you really don't know the truth about things. And for me, it has been a spiritual uplifting, I should say, to understand how, you know, people can be so selflessly devoted uh, to mankind and also how they have performed their duties not only spiritually but also philanthropically also. So I think uh, for me it is more of a learning experience. And I've learned them from the exhibitions, from the presentation, from uh, the attitude and I think if uh, all of us were to be like that then we could be living in a very very peaceful uh, world. To get an in-depth understanding of uh, the life and the inspiration of uh, the spiritual leader. Uh, it, it was such an awesome, uh, un unbelievable, very touching and re-energizing. How to relate with your families, we've been told we must hold like two or three meetings per week with your families and so on. So to build a good bond with your children, so you need to have... It जे श्री स्वामी महाराज जे जे काम करियो छे ए पोटानी लाइफ मा इतना वर्ष जे जीविया तो इमा छन्नू वर्ष जीवा तो इमा इम लगे छे के हजार वर्ष नू काम करी गया छे This amazing soul from Mu Swami just makes me think of one of the leaders in my country who are advocating for peace for love for empowering women, uh, empowering girls, uh, for um, uh, helping each other. When I gone through the entire exhibition, it's so inspiring that what he did and how he achieved such a leadership role in a BAPS, that is amazing. This concept of Ghar Sabha, the family comes together, they sit together, pray together, share with each other all what they are feeling. The discussion, the communication has resolved many of the issues. And that's why satsangis are not facing the troubles that need psychiatric help. It takes one spark to set a big forest on fire. It has taken one spark of Pramak Swami, just one simple life, and he has changed the whole world.